Hi, in this video I will be showing how to insulate this uh, uh, heating element which I have uh, wounded over this. The most important thing is you need to have safety gloves because uh, this is quite alkaline in nature and it may cause some skin injury. So this is the heat motor, uh, fire resistant motor. What we will be doing is uh, we will be spreading it over uh, over the whole surface and evenly and the <coughs> idea is to insulate this completely so that these kind of metal surface will not be touching the iron barrel. Uh, this is to avoid the short circuit because 110 volts will be uh, about like 8 amps of current would be flowing through this and it would be a huge disaster. <coughs> you need to do it uh, as I am doing, just put some over this and rub it gently. Make sure that no metal touches the iron barrel because this process is just to avoid the short circuit. Try to do the work as neatly as possible because uh, any metal which is touching the nichrome wire can uh, lead to a short circuit at the end. Can you see over this spot? Some metal is there, uh, which is basically, uh, which is quite probable that it can touch over that. So I need to put it nicely uh, and evenly throughout this, uh, <coughs> through the space. Again, I insist that you need to wear the gloves because you can't do this with your bare hands. It will uh, ruin your skin completely. This is highly alkaline in nature. It seems to be a dirty job but in order to have safety it, it needs to be done. It could be a good idea if you can uh, put some fire uh, motor before uh, wrapping the uh, <coughs> nichrome wire but you need to do it real quick because uh, it can take a significant time to wrap. And make, sh make sure that you cover the whole surface because if you keep 
uh, some of the <coughs> uh, ceramic beads which are not in contact with this uh, basically when uh, you start uh, heating the uh, barrel uh, it will start uh, coming it off Okay, here it's done.